Hi there, it's Ajmer from Inhouse Solutions. In this video series, we're going to talk about what's new in Mastercam 2025. This video deals specifically with enhancements and dynamic mode. Let's get into it. So we have a bunch of dynamic milling operations in here, and I'm just going to show you it's the standard 2D dynamic. But what they've allowed you to do in 2025 now is, let's talk about the linking parameters. So if we enable this, so now you can graphically see the linking parameters. And like the previous drilling operations in 2024, you can drag these around graphically. You can snap to certain things, type numbers in, or type numbers with the calculator, or even in here, 2.5. So you can see it makes it more visible as to what the clearance and the retract and the linking will be for each operation. You can always turn each one of these things off if you don't want to see it, or enable them, or completely turn it off as well. You can have these things show up at every single time, depending on what page you're in, by just enabling only elements on the current page. If you turn that off, you see it no matter where. So just the current page. And now that's going to lead us to talk about the geometry. So in 2025, they've had the ability to uh, <coughs> color map your regions, which is really handy. So in this case here, green is my machining and red is my air region. So if you preview this, you can kind of see exactly what's happening. So more visual cues over and above the preview. And you can change the color of these things uh, accordingly. It's a really nice uh, feature. So into any one of these, you can go and see the geometry. So here's my geometry. So it's showing all my linking and everything else. So I'm just gonna say, hey, only the current page. And there it is there. So again, green. this whole face is my machining area, and that light blue is the um, air region that is going to start from outside. Okay. The next thing we can do is we can talk about the ability to add finish cuts. So here's my standard roughing operation. People have asked this for a long time. I want to be able to add in a finish pass. So if I enable finish passes, give it a spacing, and standard leading leave out values, if I preview this, you can see that it actually has a finish pass on it right there. So it's just like a 2D contour, and it takes a cut, and comes outside. So you can rough and finish in the same operation or a semi-finished cut or whatever you would like. That concludes the first video in this series.